Hi guys, it is Monday. How are you? I hope you're great. Um, so I just got home from school a little while ago. It is currently 3.40 and I just finished filming a video. So I'm super happy that I got that done because sometimes when I get home, I'm like, I don't want to do anything. Like I want to relax and then I'll start doing stuff. But since my makeup was already done and the sun, like the lighting was good because I use natural and artificial, but whatever. Um, since the lighting was good, I thought, Julia, you're going to film. You're ready? film so because I already had the video planned out so I ended up filming I'm really happy about that but school was okay if you didn't see last week's reading vlog basically back to school new semester which it was okay <laughs> that's all I have to say it was okay eh. <laughs> but I'm home so whatever so today I'm going to be not today I feel like it's so late like I'm so tired <laughs> so since I filmed, I also have to do some stuff for my online course tonight. I want to check that out, see what that's about. I have a little bit of homework to do, even though it's the first day, I still have a little bit of homework to do. I need to clean up a little bit because I was a little bit, in, like a little, tiny bit in a rush. So I haven't made my bed yet, which drives me nuts because I always make it every morning. So yeah, and then I just want to clean up a little bit, put some clothes away. And yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about reading. Like. I'll get around to reading, but it'll probably be at night, so I'll probably update you like later <laughs> and tomorrow or tomorrow. So yeah. Oh, this tripod looks real good. <laughs> okay, so I got a package in Z Mail. And this is from a publishing company. I've never been this excited in my life. Um, a little bit of an exaggeration, but it's okay. I am so excited. I just got home from school, so for like a reading update. I am over 100 pages into Retribution Rails, and that's about it, which I'm fine with because I've been, you know, school. Uh, so this this was sent to me by Andrew McNeil Publishing. Thank you so much. Um, let's open this. It's like really nicely taped, so like I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> I don't want to cut anything <laughs> like the book. Okay, I got it. You guys can see it before me. Oh my god, this is. Uh, oh my god, look, 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 look. You guys know how much I love R. H. Sin, so this this is his new book that actually just came out today on February 6th. This is Planting Gardens in Grace, so thank you so much. And then I also got an early copy of The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one by Amanda Lovelace. So thank you so so much to Andrew's Meal Publishing. I'm so excited to read these. Like as soon as I am done, why well, I, I might just start this one tonight. We'll see what happens, but I'm so excited for these. So yeah, thank you so much to them. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy about these. Like this is the best thing to come home to after school, you know? When you've had a shitty day. This is what I like to come home to. <laughs> hello! This is a very weird angle, but hello. My bullet journal, oh, whatever. Okay, so it is Friday and I have sucked at updating so much this week, so I'm so sorry. Um, I was thinking about taking a break from the reading logs. Next week is Contemporary Thong, so there'll definitely be one then. But I may take a break from doing them every week just because I just started my new semester, which by the way, it's going okay. So thank you for those who were wishing me luck and all that sort of stuff. Um, but this semester I have English, Math, Biology, and Business. So I've got quite a uh, full semester and it's definitely where my marks matter most at this point. And usually I kind of put YouTube as a really high priority for me just because I love it so much and I've always been dedicated to it but I'm gonna make myself take a little bit of time away from it not like a ton like it's not like you'll never see me again <laughs> but just a little bit of space from it just because I uploaded 24 videos in January and I feel like I cannot do that the rest of the school year absolutely not so yeah but I will give you guys a reading update so 
on another note i finished um planting gardens and graves which if you guys saw one of the previous clips i wrote my goodreads review for it so i was you guys saw i unboxed it okay um i'm like what did i put in this vlog okay so this was really good i really enjoyed this a lot you guys know i love his stuff so like it has nothing to do that i was sent something by the publishing company all the opinions are my own i think you guys should be aware of this but I really enjoyed planting gardens in graves. The only thing, like I, I loved it. There were so many poems I loved. I tabbed it, the whole thing up. Um, I, I'm super excited for the rest of this books and everything else that he's gonna be coming out with this year. And it's so great. I really enjoyed it. And the only reason why I gave it 4.5, the only reason I knocked it a 0.5 is because I feel like, I don't know how to explain it, but like it's not as good as a beautiful composition of broken so that one was a five star one for me and it was still really good though and like my only i love how i just put my leg up my only thing was is it's very much targeted toward heterosexual females so i thought i'd put that out there and of course everyone can relate to like these feelings these thoughts these emotions blah 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 but um it is the pronouns and the way the story is told is targeted towards um heterosexual females so keep that in mind i hope i didn't mean that to offend anyone or i don't know but then yesterday i finished the witch doesn't burn in this one but look at all these tabs i adored this so much and the writing's in red and it's just so important and i liked how this one had like a nice like story line going through it so it kind of had a bit of story and then it went into some poetry and it was just really nice and it deals a lot with feminism like i would say more than the first book there's way more feminism here and it's about the power of women the fierceness of women a bit of um female history and i really enjoyed it i thought it was really really well done and i'm super excited for book three which is like about mermaids and sirens and songs and it's gonna be really cool so i'm super excited about that but this was great I'm still battling if I'm gonna give it the full five. I adored it, don't get me wrong, but there, it, it did get a little bit repetitive, but like that's me nitpicking. And like, there were so many things I loved about this and I tabbed so many things and I couldn't stop reading it. Like it's divided into the trial, the burning, the firestorm and the ashes. And it has, I wanna show you guys this. It has a thing in the beginning full of trigger warnings. And that's something that I've never seen in a book before and I just really want to see more of. I think it's great, <laughs> especially if you're a reviewer because sometimes it can be hard to keep track of all the trigger warnings. But not only that, but it's very important for readers and it's good to be aware of what the book's going to be talking about and some of the issues and themes that are gonna be brought up. So I, I really appreciated this and I know so many other people will as well when it releases. It releases on March 6th, if you guys are wondering. I'm super excited for everyone to read this and I really, really enjoyed it. I'm either gonna give like a 4.5 or a five. It was great, so yeah. That's all for my update. Tomorrow I have something really exciting going on, but like I can't really vlog it while well, I am vlogging, but not to put it in this vlog. You know what I'm saying? No, you don't. <laughs> but yeah, there'll be a cool video coming out soon and I can't film tomorrow really unless there's reading updates but i don't think there will be i've kind of been slacking which is okay but yes talk to you guys soon <laughs> bye guys yeah, so i'm just going to be ending this reading vlog here and just some quick updates so i'm currently editing this it's done i just need to add this clip in and then edit this clip which i don't think you guys care about that but whatever so basically i wanted to share that i also got an arc in the mail yesterday so this is how to deal tarot for everyday life um i was sent this by hcc frenzy which is like a team over at harper collins like the teen section over at harper and thank you so much to them for sending this to me and i've been like looking into horoscopes recently and then like i've been reading my horoscope all month i don't know if i necessarily believe in all this stuff this is like a topic for a whole other video but um this sounded really interesting to me so this comes out in may so i wanted to give this one a read and see the whole tarot card the everything to do with tarot cards it seems fun i don't know so that i got that and then for a reading update so i did read two poetry collections this week both i was sent and i love them both so much and i was anticipating them both so much so i'm super happy that i read them and i love them both but for my other books contemporary thon starts tomorrow so i'm not sure if i'm going to continue these or if i'm going to wait till the next week but the drawing of three by stephen king i'm still reading this one well, I, I kind of slacked off with the audiobook, so the audiobook expired, but I'm like this far into it. I like it. It's fun. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't have much to say. And then Retribution Rails. I'm still reading this. What the hell? Like, I've been so tired at night that I just crashed, so I, don't, I haven't been reading that much. 
but I'm about this far into this one. I don't know. They're both good. It's just I've been just slacking a little, you know? But yes, that's how much I have of this one left. So, yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you made it to the end of the, to the, end of this vlog, I know it's a short one, um, but Contemporary Thon, I'm going to upload one next week for the readathon. And then after that, I'm going to be taking a bit of a break from these. And yeah. So, comment a. I don't know what to comment. What is this? <laughs> what are you? So, comment a. Snowflake. It's currently snowing. Comment a snowflake if you feel like it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you super soon. Bye.